Jonathan, researchmd.com, another great presentation. Um, today we're going to look at the complications or side effects of uh, um, anti-obesity or weight loss drugs. Okay, we did like three or four presentations before, some of the drugs before. Today our topic is going to be about contrary. Before I go into let me introduce myself. My name is Dr. Pramil Chariat. I'm a physician, program director, internal medicine, transitional residency program, associate professor of medicine to a large medical school in the United States. And uh, so let's start. So the drug we're going to talk about is Contrain. It's a drug we use to lose weight. Okay. And you can lose around like five to six percent of your weight by using this drug. And um, it's commonly prescribed. So it's a combination of two drugs, which is naltrexone and bupropion. Okay, remember that. So let's get into our subject today. First, the number one we always, I mean, before I go into, I don't want to scare people, you know, some of the side effects may be rare, but it's good to know, right? You started taking a drug and unfortunately you have a complication, you can kind of go back and see, hey, this, this drug has something to do with this. So you can go back to your doctor. That's the main purpose. I don't want to scare people um, saying all of this. Okay. Number one we want to look at is cancer. Can this cause cancer? There are no reports about causing cancer. Opposite, studies have shown some benefits in the um, colon cancer, breast cancer, and the lung cancer with the, um, with the naltrexone, okay? Bupropion they use in the cancer treatment to decrease the fatigue, so beneficial, maybe, I would say. Number two, let's look at the cardiovascular. What happened to the um, our heart when you take this drug? It can cause high blood pressure, hypertension, increased heart rate, that means tachycardia. It can cause palpitation, it can cause heart attack, and then cause something called a presyncope. Sometimes you feel dizziness and you feel like you and fall down. Okay. When we look at the respiratory system, your breathing, it can cause like pneumonia. Okay. And the next system we're going to look at is um, the gastrointestinal or the stomach. It can cause the it can cause belly pain, it can cause nausea, it can cause like um, a dry mouth, it can cause constipation, it can cause like belching, it can cause blend in the stool, and it can sometimes you can cause taste is altered in the mouth. Okay. The next thing we're going to look at the gallbladder. What can it affect? Studies have shown it can cause like infection of the gallbladder. We call it like cholecystitis. Now, let's look at the, the liver. What can we do? It can cause liver failure. The usual symptoms you will see liver enzymes going to get elevated. Okay. And then um, let's look at the CNS or brain. What does it, how does it affect? It can cause like dizziness, can cause like insomnia, can cause fatigue, it can cause irritability, jittery, can cause tremors, it can cause uh, nervousness, fatigue, and all of these complications associated with, that, with this drug. Okay. Next system we're going to look at is psychiatric. What can cause psychiatric? It can cause like suicidal ideation, anxiety, depression, it got abnormal in their dreams and emotional 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 liability can cause. Okay? Now let's look at genitourinary. You can cause like urinary tract infection, you can cause erectile dysfunction, you can cause urinary urgency, you can have what vaginal dryness, vaginal hemorrhage, and you can also cause this like irregular menses. Okay, and let's look at the blood. How does it affect the blood? It can decrease the blood count. We call something called anemia. Okay, now let's look at the endocrine system. It can cause uh, dehydration, it can cause heart flashes, it can cause like increased thirst, it can cause your yeah, blood sugar can go down sometimes also. Okay, now let's look at the infections. Mainly, you know, we talk about urinary tract infection, kidney infection, it can also cause staphylococcal infections. Okay, next thing we're going to look at the dermatological, like or the skin. So, you can cause like increased perspiration, you can cause like a loss of hair, and you get sometimes you can cause swelling of the lip also. When you talk about the neuro, I mean the neuromuscular or skeletal system, it can cause tremors, you can cause shakiness, so you can cause back pain. Sometimes you can cause like a herniated disc, and it's associated with some jaw pain and the weakness also. Okay. In the renal or the kidney, you can cause renal failure or kidney failure by increasing your creatinine. Okay, and then when you talk about the ear, it can cause something called tinnitus. What is tinnitus? It makes you ringing in the ear. You hear the ringing in the ear constantly. 
when you look at the eye, it can increase the pressure in the eye and it can lead to glaucoma. I think everybody knows what glaucoma is. And the uh, next question is pregnancy. Is this drug safe in the pregnancy? Unfortunately, it's not. Don't take it in the pregnancy. Don't take it if you are like breastfeeding also. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another presentation soon. God bless.